This is Martin Carla with Dave Rouleau from PICO CTF 2018. Our network administrator is having some trouble handling the tickets for all our incidents. Can you help him out by answering all the questions? Connect on port 10493 and there's an incidents.json file. All right, so I've downloaded that incidents.json file. And so this provides uh, details, it looks about 10 incidents in this JSON file format. You can Google and read more about that, but it's a nice way to transfer data in a textual format. And so you'll see there's this structure, it contains tickets, and there's information on tickets 0 through 9. So it's a pretty small file. And then it talks about connecting on port 10493. All right, and ask what is the most common source IP address? Now there are only 10 of these things, so I could just go through and look to see what's the most common one. But I've actually gone ahead and written a Python program just so you'll see how to use Python to parse this JSON file and what that looks like. So here at the beginning, and I've gotten some code from a couple places on the internet to, to help out with this. So I import JSON, which is a library that's going to help Python read those JSON files. And I read the entire file as a string. And then this json.loads will take that string from the file and convert it to JSON. OK, so this is what the string that got read in looks like. So you'll see that it's converted it to a Python dictionary with tickets. So if I dereference tickets in that dictionary, I'll go ahead and print that out now. So you'll see a particular uh, dictionary again. And so now we can reference into that. So I'll look at the zero entry of that. And so this is what a single entry looks like. It's got a ticket ID, a timestamp, a file hash, destination IP, and a source IP. So the first thing it asked me is to find the most common source IP. So I'm just going to loop through all of the tickets. And then I'm going to look at the source IP of the ticket, get however many I had before in a dictionary. If it's not in there already, I'll fill in zero. I'll add one. So this is going to count up for me how many times each source IP appears in the dictionary. All right. So the first time, Ticket source IP won't be in there, and so it will get zero, and then add one to that to put one in there, and then after that it'll get the old value and add one. Then I've got code here, and this is going to find the largest value in the dictionary. So we're finding max over the dictionary where the key is the value as opposed to picking the key. So I won't be doing the max of the IP addresses, I'll be doing the max of the counts. Then I print out the most common one of these things. Okay, so we'll see that the most common is 221, 201, 106, 115. So we can now answer that question. The next thing it's going to ask me is how many unique destination IP addresses were targeted by a particular source address. And so here what I do is basically a very similar loop. And then I'm going to see how many times that thing appeared. So 
I'll open a second window. Okay, so it's prompting me for the most common source IP address. My loop has computed that. So I'm going to copy that, put it over here. That's correct. It's asking me now for the number of unique destination IP addresses that were targeted by the source IP address of this. So I'll copy this and I'll put it in my script over here. And it's going to tell me that there was one of those. And then it asks me for the average number of unique destination IP addresses. My script has already computed that. I'll go through that in a minute. 1.11. Okay, so there's my flag. So let's just go through the script again and make sure we understand all the things that happened. So the first section, I loaded the file into a string and then I converted that to a JSON structure, right, which was a dictionary and then that dictionary had a field called tickets and then it was a list with all of the tickets in it. I went through, I found the most common source IP by looking up the source IP and seeing if I had it in my common dictionary already. If not, it was going to be zero here and then one. And if it was, I'd get the old number and then I'd add one to it. And then I found the maximum value in that dictionary. Then to find the number of unique destination IP addresses for a particular source IP, I've asked for the source IP because it's different each time I run that over here. And I do a very similar loop, right, looking at destination IPs, but only if the source IP is the one I've been asked about. And then I print uh, the length of that. And then here to find the number of unique destination IPs sent a file with the same hash, I go through again my dictionary, this time looking at the hashes and counting up the number associated with each file hash. And then I'm going to take the sum of that, the sum of those values divided by however many there are. And that gave me the 1.11. And then here is the flag. So we'll copy that. And there we go.